so it's the next day and we finished the floor last night that you would have seen on the time lapse and yeah it doesn't look too bad so next step now so we've got a step to put in here so we possibly would have done the step but we ran out of floor we ran out of um uh screed so yeah it looks pretty good so it was rob's idea to put the little pieces of limestone uh flakes on it um it sort of looks like a looks like a night sky if you can see the little flakes that we put on she must stand on the wall um so yes yeah, so this is our wardrobe and the pipes are all in obviously for our guest bathroom um so the next step then let me get down off this wall without falling next step then is to bring up the kitchen wall um the kitchen looks so low now compared to it and see the difference in the floor level um is massive so but we will have a step up and we also have like the insulation is 175 mil thick so we shouldn't have a problem with that so yeah so this is this is where we'll have a step we'll have a step down um that's just some indication there of the stick of fitness of the insulation for the floor. So um, that's going to bring it up quite a bit. And then this whole area, which is, well, I'm just going to see if I can get this kitchen area level today. But then the entire kitchen, lower kitchen, new kitchen will be the same level. So that's today's job and it's sunny today which makes such a change uh, well not that it hasn't been sunny but it's been a bit grey so uh, and I think the next couple of days are really good so we get to it and for those of you who don't know our lovely cat this is her. Now the dog gets very jealous when I start paying her attention. Doesn't she, Tom? Yes. Yes. Are you even smiling for me today? Is a little smile? Yes. And dog gets very jealous. Doesn't she, Tom? Yes. Tough caught another rat this morning. So, uh, she's pretty good at the rat catching isn't she yes oh your tongue's sticking out oh is that for the camera yes evening folks we're coming to the end of our weekend and we got one floor laid we got the next floor kind of laid out maybe some evening but probably most likely next week we will next weekend we'll put in the floor so for the remainder it's going to be a lot of um, small jobs after work every evening and i'm going to start one here which is to put a form to kind of like a little ring beam on this piggery wall stone wall quite like it and we dug down quite far so um it would be nice to have some of it on display. You won't be able to see it all because our sewerage and such pipes are going to go down there. But you'll see a little bit of it. And it'll be nice to know it's there anyway. So it's not stable enough to build 
timber frame on top of. Um, and the timber frame has to reach up and support this. So we're just going to give a little bit of concrete reinforcement and then we'll be able to put the timber frame on top of that. Not hugely exciting, but I'll try on time lapse. And you can see how it goes. Really at the moment it's just getting rid of this earth. There was a lot, I did a fair bit, there was a lot of ivy and uh, brambles growing in between. So we just gently knock back the earth until we start to see the lime render, which you can see because it's a bit of a, it's more of a yellow color than the black. But once we get to that, we just take that back a little bit and it's good to go. So, time lapse. Sun is back. I have an hour before we go to pick up um, scaffolding. Scaffolding's finally coming from our friend, which means we'll quickly be moving on to the next stage. I'm going to try to do a few bits of stone work tonight so I can attach that ring beam tomorrow. So a tiny little bit of work, not enough for the cement mixer. So I'm going to do it old fashioned with the, uh, with the paddle. I don't think it's gonna work. I think there's too much in there. So this might be a wasted effort. Let's see.
Well, I'm just out of mortar. I don't know if you see this very well, but just a little course I just added here. Not too bad, quite happy with it. Sorry now, it is hard to see, this is a tiny trench. But um, I just wanted essentially just to fill the gaps up to the beam. The beam's gonna go in through here. I just didn't want any concrete going out the bottom. Um, and I'd rather build up stone rather than have the concrete visible. So the concrete's gonna go in here. Um, I'm gonna put my timber joists on top of this, my floor plates. I'm gonna build up the timber frame. And then on the outside, larch cladding is gonna come down. So it's about 50 centimeters, or sorry, 50 millimeters, the whole length there. So the larch cladding should just hit this straight line. I'll do the same here as well, although this side ain't the worst, actually. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't need to do it, but we don't have much stone wall on show, so I want to keep that going. But that's it. Work done. Off to get the scaffolding. Peace out. So, still in the middle of this ring beam job, the wall came out pretty good. In the middle of the night, I started thinking about new ways to reinforce. You can see me. In the middle of the night, I started thinking about new ways to reinforce this, so I'm just putting them in now. I'm putting in the bottom of the form and gonna mix some concrete in a minute. I'm gonna put rebar in first, then mix some concrete and yeah, we give it a lash then. Three and five months.
So, not a bad session tonight. I managed to get the anchor bolts put in place in the cavity blocks in this, the old kitchen. So that'll be ready to lay down the wall plate and then we'll fix the screed for this point. I should stop calling this a piggery. This is our bathroom and kind of closet space. We have the ring beam put in place there with some of the anchor bolts ready again for the staggered wall plate. I managed to have my little reveal there. This will be closed from the inside, but from the outside, you will be able to see the old um, kitchen window and the original stonework, which will be quite cool. And at the very top, we got the step from the bedroom to this, um, this level. So not bad for a few hours work after work and really as usual we got a beautiful sunset here to kind of give us a bit more motivation to continue like we've opened in long days Claire drove to Cork for her work today and back home and I'm kind of still at the early phase of my job so I'm still trying really really hard and putting a lot in um, but Finally, it's good to see the building come out of the ground. For a very long time, we were just hacking and digging and demolishing. And I mean, those of you that have watched every episode will laugh, but speaking of demolishing, it must have been about 10 of our videos I said the next job was to demolish this. But Claire actually began at it tonight and I stopped her because we just need to get these parts level and that wall level really before we know how much of the stone we need to infill. So we will level down there next, I think, and finish off the wall and put in the anchor plates or the anchor bolts for the wall plate. And then we'll get to level it. And I actually want to take the roof off this and put it onto our well on the other side so that might be two videos down the line because everybody i've spoken to said when you're putting corrugated roof on make sure you start square you probably can't see it on the roof but at the very end if they don't overlap by the time you get so anyway down the wall they're all going to be staggered and they're all going to be out of alignment and with every what is this like four feet with every four feet you move down the gap gets worse and worse and worse so considering we are going to have a straight galvanized roof the entire length of this house i want to definitely get some practice in before i do the main thing um, so yeah, so we'll take the roof off this and we'll practice on the the pump house. One small little shed should be enough. I'll be a pro then, for sure. Till next time, bye bye. Okay, so it's a, uh, what day is it? Thursday. It's a Thursday evening. It's quite windy actually, but it's actually a gorgeous evening. And here at the back, it's just full sun all all evening, which makes it um, I'm a pleasant place to work. So we last night we leveled at the top the wall, and we have that ready now for timber frame. I'll show you. We have cemented it in, the screws are in, and. Yeah, the form is holding the wall. Start of the wall, then down here, this is leveled all the way along. And now we're starting to level our lower wall, which we built with all of the um, old uh, blocks from the kitchen. So just recycling the blocks really. But 
in order I think from using them we realized how uneven they were so um, for a while you might have seen it and it looked a bit squiggly like a squiggly wall or not straight really so uh, so now it's looking straight um, we're going to go all the way around and then we'll fill in the top with concrete like this one ready to go and if we can get that all done tonight we'll be doing really well then um, it means we have the basis of a back wall to timber frame up um, yeah so that's where we are so I'll just put you on time lapse and um <laughs>
Uh, Claire, what time is it? It's um, quarter past ten. It's quarter past ten. It's probably the first evening we've worked this late and it feels dark. Um, lovely sunset, but you know, the evenings are going to start uh, getting darker and darker earlier and earlier and I'm not looking forward to the time of the year when it gets dark at half four before we finish work. So we we'll literally go for five days without doing anything. So while the weather's good and we have some light, we're trying to get as much as we can done. I'm delighted to say our final bit of leveling is done here. Now, if you've noticed, I have been putting anchor bolts in, but I ran out yesterday. So I'm just gonna have to wait for this to dry, drill it through the wall plate and secure it there. But how about that? This is incredible to see, because it's the first time we've seen the proper level of our floor. And look, it's almost the size of the barn. It's really come up a fair bit, just to match this level. There's a bit of a hiccup here. We, can't, we have 175 mil foam and we're putting it all down underneath the floor. But here, there's a concrete base and it's only 150 mil down. So by the time we lay, we didn't want to lift to dig out the concrete but by the time we laid the insulation it was coming off flush with this so we're actually going to put two wall plates down so that's why this um kind of level had to be raised the height of one wall plate so that a single wall plate is going to go across there i don't know if that makes sense it will make sense once you see me do it let me show you the outside so by the time there is, yeah. So, where are we? By the time you see this, you will have seen some of my other videos about how we made the wall, the wavy wall, the beach wall. <laughs> oh, did you? But I guarantee there's gonna be a ton of comments about how it's so wavy. But you can see now that it's only a retaining wall is wavy. The actual main surface is always going to be perfectly flat and level and a really good surface to start to build the timber frame so overall i'm really happy with how this worked out and this is only in how many evenings claire was this three evenings maybe four four evenings we managed to do this so for those of you that commented the last few weeks that video hasn't even come out yet so i haven't seen it so i didn't pay any attention and it's fixed now so happy days right it's getting dark gonna continue tidying up and maybe the weekend we'll see you we got some scaffolding who knows what we'll do but i'd love to say that we're going to be demolishing this pretty soon it wouldn't be a video unless i said it later